Dear students, today we will discuss some important anatomical differences between dicot and monocot root. The first difference is in the pericycle. In case of dicot root, pericycle gives rise to cocambium, parts of vascular cambium and later roots. So generally, dico, in case of dicot root, this pericycle plays a very important role in secondary growth and also in the development of the lateral roots. While as in case of monocots, it only gives rise to the lateral roots. This is the first difference. Second is shape of xylem. If you look at the shape of xylem, the xylem elements or uh, the xylem uh, cells usually trichaetes they are angular or polygonal while as in case of the monocots they are round or oval the number of vascular bundles or xylem and phloem bundles is less than six in case of dicot root and generally it is four in number in most cases, you will see four xylem bundles and four vascular bundles, which is known as tetar condition. And uh, in case of monocots, it is more than six, which is known as the polyor condition. And this is the third difference. And fourth difference is in pith. Pith is less developed or very small and underdeveloped in case of uh, dicot root, while as it is large and well developed in case of the monocot root this is the fourth difference fifth difference is the connect conjunctive tissue this is the tissue which is which lies between the vascular bundles between the xylem and the uh, flowing bundle or between the xylem bundles and then it is parenchymates completely parenchymates in case of the dicot root while as it may be circular chymates in case of monocot root giving mechanicals to the root Secondary growth takes place in case of dicot root, while as in case of monocot root, secondary growth does not take place. This is the sixth difference. Sound difference is in cambium. Cambium is present and formed by the conjunctive parenchyma tissue in case of dicot roots, and then secondary growth takes place, while as it is absent in case of the monocot root. Xylem is usually tetar tetrarch they are generally four number and they are, are always less than six while as in they can be many in case of uh, in case of uh, monoco in case of monocot roots and the condition is known as the polycor condition cortex is completely narrow whereas in case of dico in case of monocots it is very wide examples in of dicots include peas, beans, peanuts, etc. While as examples of the monocots include maize, banana, palm, etc. So these were the differences between the monocot and uh, uh, dicot root anatomy. And uh, this question is frequently asked in exams. So you can remember these and then you can easily uh, answer the questions. Thank you very much.